Two support groups, Bola Ahmed Tinubu Intellectual Coalition, Batik, and Tinubu Support Group, TSG, have formed a coalition to build structures and drum support for Tinubu's emergency president. Mr. Niyi Adebayo, national coordinator of Batik, made this known at a meeting in Abuja when the two organizations merged in support of Tinubu. He said that Batik as a movement started on May 28, 2019 and had grown across the 36 states and diaspora. Batik! Ashiwaju, people who are in love with Ashiwaju, people who want to see the future of this country, not to fall back to the retrogative days of PDP. People who are so concerned about how are we going to have a better life for the incoming generation. That is how we came back to the idea of forming Batik. And uh, today, our structure cut across the 36 state, the regional, the local government, and down to the world. After our leaders emerged victorious in the just concluded primary, we are planning to move down to each poly unit where we have street captain from one street to another in the Baltic to make this thing a success story for Ashiwaju. This meeting today, the purpose of coming here, number one, for us to come together to mark our three years anniversary, and uh, secondly, to also present ourselves to the uh, TSG as a, a group that we are ready to work with in solidarity to achieve victory for our leader. The Director General of TSG, Uma Mohamed, thanked Batik for the move, adding that TSG was aware of their capacity and passion for Tinubu's leadership. We've been looking forward actually to collaborate, to synergize and uh, push this project together with you. Now, TSG, which stands for Tinubu Support Group, has been in existence for almost about three years now. And uh, it was actually formed by some of his closest friends and allies who truly believe in him and uh, believe also that Nigeria needs him more than ever at this juncture. They knew that APC, considering its current imagery, needs someone like Asiwaju with the brand name Tinibu to actually support the party to move forward 2023. Otherwise, APC uh, would have been no more without Asiwaju contesting as the president under it. Similarly, Mr. Bola Babarinde, the chairman of APC South Africa and Board of Trustees, Diaspora Leaders Forum, said that the group was working to ensure Tinubu became president. Babarinde said that the issue of diaspora and voting had been on for so long, but the National Assembly turned it down. Recently, even this year, you know, our, um, our action to make sure that it's uh, actually approved by the National Assembly was turned down. You know, due to the reason we don't really understand. But and that's the same day the special place for women was actually turned down by the National Assembly. We believe that because when smaller countries like Rwanda, you know, Ghana, they have diaspora voting, people in diaspora they vote. It's our right. It's not it's not a privilege, it's our right to vote. And one thing they should realize is that uh, apart from not being voting now, we've been contributing a lot to make sure that what we want to happen in Nigeria actually happen. Because most of the people outside they are the breadwinner in their homes. We send money home. We, send, uh, we, we take care of our aged people, we take care of you know, our uh, uh, people that send their children to school. You know. So they listen to us. Whatever we, the direction that we want is we go. 
you know, this election that is coming, we have a lot of other people, other groups that are routing for the Asiwaju in diaspora, which I belong. I belong to the Chairman's Forum, I belong to the Diaspora Leaders Forum, I belong to other progressive forums. And we believe Asiwaju can do it. He has done it in Lagos, and definitely he can do it at the national level. We know that Ashwaju will make a difference because uh, it's, it's, a, it's a pedigree, it's what he has been doing. Whatever, whatever he touch turns to gold and we believe he's going to make sure Nigeria is on the right path of success. Also speaking, Mr. Suraj Mohammed, Board of Trustees Chairman and National Chairman, APC for National Interest, said that Tinubu is a force to be reckoned with. Mohammed said that the group would do its best in the coming election to ensure he wins. Ajuaju is a, is, a, is a management economist. He's well educated and uh, he believes in practical politics. You will realize that he practicalized it in Lagos when he was the governor. And that is exactly what he did in, in Lagos. That is why we have been prodding him to come and be the president of this country so that he can replicate what he did in Lagos, because we know for sure if Tinumbu becomes the president of this country, we are going to make a lot of tremendous progress, politically, socially, and uh, if you like, in all facets of economy of this country, in a global perspective, that is what we believe in. And we know for sure it's not going to disappoint Nigerians. And that is the reason why we decided to subsume and synergize with TSG so that we can have a large, a large, city, a large group to mobilize and synthesize Nigerians. And definitely, we must go into, We are going to achieve this feast. And at the end of the day, our aims and objective will be achieved. It's going to be in the villa in 2023 by by the grace of Almighty Allah.